Hello, my fellow cigar smokers, and welcome to Smokers Pod. We are smoking the La Flor Dominicana Salomon Unico. A piece of fucking art. Let's see how it tastes. It is the La Flor Dominicana. Man, Jesus Christ, look at that wrapper. They made a they made a piece of art out of it, right? And there are 75 different like wrapper artworks, whatever, how do you call it? I wanna tell you a little bit more about that cigar and how it was created a little bit later. You can hear the birds, the wind, and everything around to here. I mean, it's still January and it's cold. And I have my wonderful black tea in my Ireland mug to remind me of beautiful Ireland. Uh, I was looking out of the balcony today and the sun was shining. It's still like five degrees Celsius. I don't know, this is 30 something Fahrenheit. But I thought, let's give it a try because it was looking nice. I'll tell you more. Let's get this bad boy started. I'd always hurt, it, it almost hurts to cut it because the wrapper is looking so nice. But if we if we want to smoke it, we have to burn. <laughs> we have to burn it. Cold raw. Creamy, buttery. <sighs> Smell, almost nothing. There's not a whole much that we can lit. No doubt that's a beautiful cigar. As the name implies, La Flor Dominicana, um, Salomones Unico. It's a Salomones Vitola. And it has a ring gauge of 64 and is 7 inches long. So that's it's quite a huge stick. If you remember last year, in the summer, I think I was doing all my reviews and cigar talks out here. And was the birds flying around? Maybe that's a little bit of like, you have a little bit more background noise, but I love it. stick was coming out last year and Lito Gomez mastermind behind La Flor Dominicana hired one master planner who created 75 different wrapper designs and planning the cigars itself by the boxes. While I'm talking, I'll show you here a, a short clip uh, of the box I have uh, and the different cigars that are in there. So if you buy the boxes, there are randomly cigars in there. You don't know what you buy, right? I mean, other than maybe you're in a brick and mortar store, you you can take a look at the box and see side and picking out the the box with the cigars that you like the most. But in general, randomly spread over all the boxes that are that they are selling so you never know what 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 piece of art you're getting uh it's a, it's a nice idea really the box itself was a little bit disappointing frankly well very simple i mean it's it's 
the box is doing what it's supposed to do, holding cigars, but it's it's white. The the material, the wood, doesn't feel very special. Just a simple box, you know, with a with a the shape is a little bit extraordinary, uh, but that's it. I expected a little bit more, especially when you uh, when you know the boxes that, for example, Davidov is doing with the zodiac signs, for example, the the year of the tiger. But the end, all that matters is the cigar itself. And the start here is promising. That creaminess is there. And I really think there's a little bit of salt in there. It's like that salted butter. You know? The salted butter when you're eating it just with with a with a nice slice of bread. The birds are getting my fucking nerves. <laughs> and it, and you know, you know what's funny? I was standing at our, I was standing on our balcony over there, I was looking outside, and it was completely silent, really. And then I was coming out, starting my shit over here, and then all of a sudden the birds uh, yelling at me. What's going on? And I mean, we're always very nice over here in our garden. We have, we have different places where we're laying out uh, food for them, you know. So, the last thing that they can do is being quiet when I'm, re when I'm recording my reviews. What the heck is going on? La Flor Dominicana, it's not my go-to brand, frankly. Here and there, they're doing a stick that is that I like, really. But it's like with Alec Bradley. I have the same relationship with Alec Bradley cigars. Um, not my brand, but every now and then there are cigars that I really like. Um, and I just hope that with that uh, with that Salomonos Unico stick, it's the same thing, you know. The start is promising, but I'm still not quite sure how, it, how it's going to develop. But that creamy, buttery, salty thing did not ex well, it's a surprise, I'll put it that way. It's a surprise. Of the tobacco itself, it's a pure old Dominicana wrapper binder filler, all from the Dominican Republic. So, you expect uh, a very typical Dominican flavor profile, and that's not the case over here. But you know what? It's a huge cigar, so let's smoke it a little bit, see what the like the first half is telling us, maybe just the first, the first third, and then coming back and let you guys know how it developed and what's worth the price. Did I mention the price? 30 euros per stick. Exactly 30 euros at 90 cents. And that's about 33, 34 dollars. Let's see. Our La Flor Dominicana Salomon Unico. I was 
talking to the birds. They said they will be quiet now. Let's see. So guys, look at this. And that, like that spike you see over there, that's solid. It's not ash, right? There's still the tobacco leaves. There are two, they're not burned properly. So what does, what does that mean? That means the core of the cigar is not burning as fast as the outside, as the binder and the wrapper and the outer fill. And that means it's a bad construction. We need to keep the, we need to talking about facts, right? Sometimes it's not about taste like that, it's subjective. You like a cigar, you're not, you like the, you like the, the, the aroma profile, whatever. Uh, and we can argue about that, right? If you like it or not. Some people like Davidoff, some not, some like, some prefer La Flor Dominicana and or Alec Bradley or what Cubans, whatever, I don't care, you know. But when it comes to construction, just facts, you know. Is the burn good? And here you can see the burn sucks. And I give the cigar a little bit of credit because it's outside. There's wind, it's cold, and I'm not expecting in that conditions a like a razor sharp burn, right? But you know, I'm smoking a whole lot of cigars. Very often I'm smoking outside. So I know what I can expect from a cigar when I smoke it outside, you know? And that cigar did not perform very good, unfortunately. So I don't know what kind of master planner Lito Gomez hired in order to do that cigar. However, mainly there are two different styles of rolling a cigar. Book press style and tubado. So book press style or entubado. With entubado you have various smoke channels. And with a traditional uh, book filler style not and very often when you do like extraordinary vitolas like a salamonas you have to take care of the um, of the way the cigar burns down and that is a real art you know like even I could take some leaves and somehow put it together and the shapes looking like a salamonas but you wouldn't be able to smoke it you know not even close uh, so the real art is rolling the cigar in an extraordinary vitola and make it smokable, you know. Smokable in the way of how the cigar is burning down and smokable in the way how the aromas and flavors are, are progressing, are unfolding itself, you know. Okay, we talked about the, the construction, which is poor. The funny thing is, the flavors are damn good. <laughs> I don't know who did this and how. The flavors, the construction sucks, the flavors are good. We have this overall creaminess, buttery, salty thing. And it's, it's staying there throughout the whole smoking process. We have, and that's what I expect, that we have a little bit of that minerally thing going on. And that sometimes is typical for Dominican uh, tobacco. And I like it, in a, in a, in a, when it's subtle. And here it is subtle. And it's adding up to that, to that creamy thing. A little bit of pepper in like after the first third. So all that is okay. But when we're charging a cigar, when we, re like, you review a cigar, right? And then you have to like mention all aspects of the cigar. Uh, and a big part of it is like the construction. Um, not as important as the taste, of course, but it's part of it. The look is part of it. How's the wrapper looking like? You know. Remember, as I was like reviewing that um, that year of the tiger from Maya Selva, 
the floor of the silver, you have the tiger. The first thing I said was, man, that red wrapper is looking boring. It was looking like no visible veins or something. It was okay, but it was pale, uh, and it's it, it it looked boring, you know. Uh, the wrapper over here looked fantastic. Not not only because of the art, but also it was it's it's very dark and oily, and that's like maybe that's a personal preference, right? That, that's what I like about the seagull. Um, so we had a good look. Um, we had a nice vitola, a poor construction, and good flavors. Hard. That's hard. The next time when I'm smoking that cigar, maybe I will do it through a night owl. I will smoke it inside, just to see how it performs inside, without without the weather conditions. Hi. By the way, that was my neighbor. So it always happens when you when you're doing it outside in your neighborhood. Neighbors, friends are coming by and saying hello. Um, so next time we'll smoke it inside and see how the cigar performs with like neutral conditions and see how the how the how the burn is there, you know. I hope a smoke output. By the way, just now. I just saw the smoke here in the display, you know. Smoke output is cool. I like that. So most of the things in that cigar are, are good. It's just a construction. Hard to say something, so, you no, know, hard to giving out like final thoughts on that cigar because I really don't know what to say about that cigar. After all, I don't think it's worth like 30 bucks. That's for sure. But it still can be like an above average cigar uh, when the conditions are a little bit better. But I don't know that yet. You know, I'll figure it out. I will definitely give it another chance <laughs> since I bought a whole box of it. I have to smoke it anyhow, right? Because it will not be a box that I'm like collecting or so. So we will smoke it. And then we'll see how it performs. Okay, maybe because of the way the cigar looks, maybe it's a nice present. You know, you know that cigars that are like, I don't know, like a meter long or so, <laughs> that you can, that you can, um, uh, that you can use as a gift for someone else. It's just looking nice, right? For cigar smoke, it's cool to put it on the wall and whatever, you know. And maybe that's a nice cigar for a, uh, for a gift. Maybe that's all that it's what you can do with that cigar, or maybe it develops uh, as a as a as a smokable cigar. Uh, not sure, guys. Anyhow, first smoke outside this year. Good anyhow, uh, and it was nice that I was able to talking to the birds, and we 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 came to the we came to an. Um, we made that powwow, right? So we we're sitting together, and I said, "Guys, I'm feeding you all year long. You know, you have to be, you have to behave when I'm outside, right? Can you do that?" And they said, "Yes." So I think the next, the next outside smoke sessions will be a little bit more quiet. I still have to manage something with the wind. <laughs> Maybe I can talk to them too, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, that review. Smoke a good cigar, enjoy life, most importantly stay safe and stay healthy and hope to see you around at Smokers Bar. Cheers.